I was going to say, guess what? We partnered with the community. There were meetings at all of the schools with parents and with other interested people. And the budget and the proposal to build a new high school passed by a large margin. Lots of people made lots of phone calls. Lots of people got out to vote. It was important. The next step, the big issue, was all-day kindergarten. And likewise, there was a group of parents who were passionate about all-day kindergarten. They convinced us that this was necessary. There was also science. There was also visits to kindergarten. I remember the chair saying, how in the world did they get everything done in the half day? We voted to move it forward. The community was active in getting it passed. The year that those three, those two referendum went down, there were no issues. It was quiet. And when it's quiet, that feeds apathy. And when there's apathy, people don't vote. And I right. think Chris mentioned the turnout was 17 percent. or yeah, under that. 13.9, 1 in 7. So in order for us to do this, we need a partnership with the community. We need to, we and the staff need to educate the students the community, the parents. People need to go to PTO meetings in the schools. We need to hold forums if we're going to do this and if we make that commitment. Otherwise, it will slide into another year or another two years. Can I be recognized? Sure. Okay. Thank you. I wasn't trying to interrupt you. I was just trying to respond before I forget the five people who have, you know, responded by the time I get to, to answer. <coughs> I don't know how often you guys meet and speak in a public forum like this, but I don't do it very often. And when I do, I'm pretty nervous. I have to tell you, when I came in, I was pretty keyed up um, just at the thought of standing here and being videotaped. You know, it's, it's a little nerve-wracking for me. So am I angry? No, I got over that last week. I'm not angry at you. I am frustrated that this has not moved forward. I meant every word of what I said when I stood up here before. Every word of it. When I say I respect what you've done for our town and for our students, I don't mean that in a shallow way. I'm not trying to get you on my side so that you'll you know, wave the paddle and vote the way I want you to. I genuinely mean it. I was genuinely there when the budget went down. I was getting out the vote to, to move people to come and vote and get your budget passed. I'm that 13 or 14 or 17 or 12 percent that shows up every year, not just for this issue. Not just for this issue. I voted on the high school, okay? I voted on the changes for security after Sandy Hook, okay? I voted for all-day kindergarten. I didn't need anybody to convince me of that, okay? I looked into the issues myself, all right? I take personal exception when you say that I am offering a, an easy solution or an easy answer. You know, I genuinely respect what you do, and I have a lot of pride in what I do. We work on the artificial heart. We are working in the hospital with the sickest patients, in my opinion. Nothing about what we do on a daily basis is easy. If you want to talk about rules and regulations, we're up against Medicare. We're, we're up against, uh, you know, the FDA. We're up against insurance companies. You want to talk about reimbursement? We face this every day. These are complex issues. Healthcare in this country is complicated. So when I say that it needs to be a commitment to move forward, I don't mean that as an easy solution. I mean that as a clear solution. So if I, if I suggested that you were making an easy out, I apologize, and I certainly never meant to suggest that what you do professionally is any less challenging than what we do. My comment was, when people come before the board and say, make a decision and figure out the details later, if the board chooses to do that, then that's going to be my position to figure out the details. But I will never professionally come to this board and recommend, make a recommendation in the other direction when I have not priced it out and responded. So if this board chose to make a decision and direct me to figure out the details, then I will execute that to the best of my ability. But this board will never receive a recommendation from <coughs> me that says this is the right thing to do for kids. I don't know how or when I can do it responsibly just yet, 
but I want you to take action on it now. And that's what I meant with my damn the torpedoes comment. Until I know how I can do this and when I can do it responsibly, I simply won't bring it forward to this board. If this community rises up and tells this board that this is something that is so important it must be done and they direct me to figure out the details, then of course I'm going to do that to the best of my ability. That was my intent and when I suggested that making the decision before figuring it out is not something that I'm ever going to bring forward. If I suggested that anybody else is, is got an easier job than that, I never, I don't think I ever commented on what you do professionally and I would never, I would never be, want your job or be capable of doing your job. I was commenting on my responsibilities. Can I ask, can I ask you a question too? I, uh, it sort of jogged my memory when Dr. Myers was talking um, timelines and I think the year that we voted to put full day kindergarten on the budget I think was my first year on the board and it was a huge issue and it came with a price ticket and I remember the conversation being that okay if we're going to put this onto the budget and all the hard work that went in behind it it's the first thing that goes when it doesn't pass the first time right that was the, yes. the gist of it yes. That's right. um, and I think we were all in agreement on that um, and I remember thinking to myself I really hope that it passes and we don't have to do that because I was worried it would never come back again if we had to take it off the budget because we couldn't pass a budget so my question is and I'm not putting any words in anyone's mouth if we were hypothetically to put money if we decided that we came to an amount of money to um, put towards this issue and the budget doesn't pass and we have to take that off are you worried that that would, you know, do you feel, I feel like it would never come back again, or I'd be worried that it wouldn't. I'm not convinced that we have explored all of the options available to us uh, fully to decide Newtown and, and Greenwich have implemented this school start, uh, school start time change this year in this budget climate with all of the same problems that we have, okay? Newtown is also 50 square miles. They have right, double... Greenwich has one problem we don't issue. In fact, they don't have a referendum on their budget. It, it matters. It does. I, I'm not speaking as far as that. What I'm talking about are all of the logistics to working out the problem, okay? As far as all of the reasons that people gave when they came to talk and said, well, I'll have to get childcare or... You know, school sports will start later. I, I'm not. I, I genuinely am not convinced that we have turned over every stone to say that this cannot be a budget neutral item or a you know a, a <coughs> small increase. So I understand you, uh, what Ryan said. Can I ask a question, maybe of both of you? If we did a 15 minute uh, budget neutral change, would that be enough? Would you support that? I'm seeing shaking heads to the negative. Good. I may. I think it's a loaded question. I'm, I'm, I was quoted with, I was confronted with what I said a year ago. To, to, in, and I, I still have that position. If, if do we? It seems like a lot of other people are talking better doctors. I'm an engineer. <laughs> I agree. I'm a practical person. I'll have to talk to doctors. Um, <laughs> Especially when you need one. <laughs> <laughs> responsibly supposed to be at work at 8 o'clock. I'm out the door running anymore. I'm hitting the street to go run, to then come home and shower, eat breakfast, to commute over a half hour to work, get my office at 8 o'clock. I'm on the road after kids are getting picked up by the bus, which just blows me away. So, I mean, I'm picking up at 619. So I'm thinking half hour into your question. I'm sorry? Half an hour? Half hour. Okay. I, I'd like to do better than 15 can, can minutes. I, and I understand there's only four of you here than right. there were in a larger number. I think a question that we would like, I would like to know is would it be sufficient for you to have a budget neutral 15 minute delay in high school start times? Yes, yes or no? I mean, I'm not going to answer that until we've had no, a chance to really to review that. that. Okay. Okay. No, I mean, because I, I agree with what I said a year ago. <clears throat> I, I think Dr. Moore was right that we got a very mixed message as to whether that was a, a supported or not. But I, I mean, I, I think it's point, We're probably not going to solve this tonight. I, I really think that a task force is, is a great idea. Yeah. I mean, I think it is, you know, this is an issue that other towns have revisited. It's not going to go away. Um, you know, I, I, you know, 
stepping off the board, but I, I think that. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I uh, yeah, sure, fine, okay. I, I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to make one more point. Perhaps you could even get. You seem to know everyone in the state of Connecticut in education. I mean, maybe you've got, or we have a connection. We can get a representative from whoever, whichever group is working in Newtown to get their process. That's the one I'd go done, with. Correct? It's They're, done. It's done. The the most recent past superintendent in Newtown is a close personal friend. I will call Joe. So and done or not, it might be a great happy to call Joe suggestion and to have some first hand experience yes. from oh, their absolutely. process yeah, and yep. how they did it. As far, the last point I'd like to make is that we can't educate your staff the same way that you can. I'm not aware of any individual instances of kids saying that they were influenced by staff. Um, social media accepted with contracted employees. I did see that, but that's totally separate, and it wasn't specifically directed towards children. It was towards had, other adults. We had teachers who stood up in this room during the public comment and mm -hmm. spoke about why they believed it was a bad idea. Um, the information that we shared with the students during that, uh, that advisory period was prepared by Dr. Canapari and myself. We shared a video with the students that I received from Dr. Canapari to share with the students during those meetings. I absolutely agree that teachers spoke to the <coughs> students about how fraught the decision was. I, I was there. I had a group of advisory students with whom I met and had the conversation. I moved through the hallways after it was over. It stirred people up, and we heard students come out and speak on both sides of the topic. We heard parents come out and speak and get emotional on both sides of the topic. We spoke after that public forum and acknowledged that this seems to separate the community like none of the other issues we've discussed before. I can tell you for my own experience that um, directly speaking with the students and asking them for their input uh, it, it was easy. It, it wasn't confrontational in any way, shape, or form. Um, and once their questions were answered one-to-one, -one, as opposed to, not one-to-one, -one, but in a small group, as opposed to maybe watching a video and, and doing a survey sort of thing, um, their comments really became live to me. And they, they cl seemed to just click, you know? Um, we want to work with you. There's nothing about this. You know, I was a little nervous. Give me that. Um, but it, there's nothing about this that we don't want to work with you. There's nothing about this that, that doesn't want to make me want to get out the vote when it matters for the referendum. I do it anyway, you know. Um, help us to help you make this change. We, our kids need this change. I'm telling you. I, this mattered to me before it even affected me personally. Now it affects my kids directly, you know? You don't want to get in between, you know, a righteous cause and somebody who doesn't vote. A child can't vote. Let's be clear. They can't come to the referendum and make their mark and, and say, do the right thing for me, you know? But please, work with us. Please set up the task force and please commit. I'm not saying you have to commit to the plan that, that I handed out to you. That's a suggestion. That's one group of people who put their heads together to say, what can we do? What can we do to move this forward? We're not blinded by your financial constraints. And we're also not blinded by the fact that you have to pass a referendum by popular vote. We have patient satisfaction scores we have to meet. These things are publicly reported. They take money back from our organizations if we don't meet these goals. We're, we're there with you. Well, I, you know, I think Dr. Warren, his last uh, bit of uh, public uh, comment at one of these meetings, I, I, I think wisely noted that we're not going to solve this issue tonight. And we are going to have this as part of our budget process. There, there, we, if Dr. Uh, Freeman thinks, and I think there are several people that think it would be a good idea to set up an independent group chaired by Dr. Moore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I think his last words were, sure, I'll be I, on that task force. Did, uh, did, the, did the note, uh, the minutes uh, reflect uh, Dr. I heard, uh, I heard it very so, clearly. So uh, we understand. And, and I hope you will understand that, that 
I, you know, and I've, I've been on the board for 18 years. I have observed that, in my opinion, this is the single most complicated issue I've ever been involved in on the board. And it may not be for some people. It is for me because I think that there is a split in the community. And I, you know, and I, we've said it all. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get repetitive. I just hope you will um, work with us and uh, will uh, will respect the process because this is the process matters. This cannot be a top down, in my opinion. This cannot be a top down operation. To me, both ends have to meet. You know, please use us. Use the. Ex I'm certainly not the expert in this field. Um, I'm certainly qualified to conduct a health class. Uh, Use us in your schools. Use us to provide education. If, if Let I us may, educate your student body. If, if I may add one thing, too, I, I, I want to state what I think is probably obvious to all of us. Um, and I, I, I do think a lot more education has to happen. Um, but people who are educated may still not agree with us, okay? So I, um, I, I do think that... Um, um, the question about why we haven't been edu educating people enough for the last four years um, falls a little bit flat is because we have been, but we need people to want to listen. We need them to show up to the forums we hold. We need them to come um, when, um, when we have our experts here to listen. Um, and we can't guarantee that they're going to agree when we're done. So I, um, I think we have really, a, a number of us feel like a task force is a good next step. Um, I, I want to echo uh, Dr. Moore's comments. Um, when we get enough people to come to a Board of Ed meeting like tonight to revisit this issue, it gives us a sense that the community wants us to revisit this issue and, and we can go it gives us energy to keep going forward. And I say keep on purpose because this has never been an issue that's died on the board. Um, it is a different sound. Tonight is a different sound yeah. than the sound of a budget going down twice. Okay? So, so I think that we have been given some, um, some you know, direction from some of our community to, to create a task force to um, look at some of the possibilities that maybe we haven't looked at yet um, and, and move forward. Okay. So if, if, I mean, we can keep talking about this, but we do have another agenda item. Uh, we do have to go into executive session to talk about some negotiations with uh, one of our uh, bargaining units. Um, so I guess my question is when, when are we going to hear the you know, when are we going to hear about the task force? When is our next communication? Who do you want us to talk to? Did, are we going through Dr. Freeman on this? If it's a task force, it would be through Dr. Freeman. I will work on creating a task force. Okay. Okay. Do you have a timeline in mind for when that might happen? I, don't, I know you're no. in the middle. I right. get no, what you guys I, are in the I don't know. We're either. in the middle of a public meeting. Um, I've just heard from the board that there is support to create a task force. I've just agreed to implement that. I have not looked at my calendar, created a timeline, or thought about an invitation list, but I will do so as clearly the board um, is, is leaning in that direction. I, no, I don't and have I'd, that. I'd, like, I'd like to suggest that tonight that's the best word that's going to happen. Okay. I mean, I don't have a choice, right? No. Well, I think it's fair. I just don't want to be sending you emails, you know, within a certain amount of time if it's – what I'm trying to get an idea I is – I would actually suggest that that would be appreciated. If, if, there, if there isn't some public movement on this in two weeks, please send me an email. Okay. And ask me in two weeks where I am. But right now, I'm no further than agreeing to the board that I'll begin working on a task force. I can't give you dates right from I here. just don't want to be – no, that's not okay. what I'm but asking I'm not for. Gonna take I just don't want to be following up with you before you're right ready. Can you I know? make a suggestion? We, I think we've done everything we're going to do on this this evening. We do have another agenda item that yeah, is an I just executive said I session. Agreed. So um, the other item on the agenda is an executive session on negotiations for clerical, para, and – Clerical and para. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so is there a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we are going to go into executive session for the purpose of negotiations. We will come out of public uh, executive session only for the purposes of adjournment, and there will be no further public votes this evening. Thank you.